Exodus chapter 1. Here you've got the position where Israel are in Egypt and the Egyptians say, you've got to kill all the baby Hebrew boys that are born. And the midwives, the Hebrew midwives are told to go and kill any baby boy and they don't do it. And these women are called up to Pharaoh to explain what they did. As you read the Bible, you need to ask yourself questions. What should they have said? Well, I suppose the highest thing they should have said is, yeah, you told us uh, to kill the baby boys, but we're not doing that because that's a sin, and I'm sorry, sir, but we, we didn't do what you told us to do, so kill us if you want. Well, they don't say that. They lie. They say, well, the Hebrew women are very lively and vigorous, and they give birth before we can get to them. Well, that was a lie. Right? But God blessed the midwives. And actually, it seems that they didn't have children themselves, and he made them families. So God was pleased with them. But their response was not ideal. Now, although there is such a thing as sin, and there is the crossing of a line that means you're in sin, it is also true that life is not black and white, and that faced with service to God and our moral duty before him, there are ranges of responses the highest level here would have been to say, yeah, well, we're not obeying you, sir, because we don't murder little baby boys. But they didn't. They told a lie. And God was pleased with that and blessed them. God dealt well with them, we're told. Well, all you can say is that there are ranges of response to God. But if you love God, you will want to serve him on the highest level. It's not as if God says, look, I'm telling you to do this. If you don't do it, then that's no deal between me and you. If you do it, okay, yeah, I'm with you. It, God thirsts for relationship. The fact that your response is less than optimal, but it is response, but it's less than optimal. Okay. We do what we can, and we should and could do far better, higher response. This should not drive us to a spirit of minimalism that, oh, yeah, God will accept it, oh, I just do what I, what I feel like doing. No, not at all. Rather is this comfort that the fact that we are not perfect and our service of him is not perfect. This does not mean he does not accept you. He is eager to accept what we can do, just like he did with these midwives.